Oh but God. Let me just cut it short. I married since 2011, 31st, 2011, December. On 2012, I took in. I have miscarriage twins. 2013, I took in. I have miscarriage the same twins. Continuous like that. But I was staying at other states because I'm teaching there and my husband is staying here at Lagos. So someone directed me to this church. That day, they, all, everybody was wearing white. I said, I didn't, I didn't know what is happening. So somebody came out to give a testimony how his brother, for many years, had a um, child. Hmm. He just tampered with the testimony. Then during the prophecy, our daddy, senior prophet, called me out. He said, in fact, I'm seeing a baby boy. Come on, Shindalaba, surprise. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are going to conceive and have a baby boy. I claim it. I said, but in fact, he said, you're already pregnant. I said, but I'm not pregnant. But within me, I just claim it. I said, who is a prophet? Mm. A prophet is somebody who for who sees the future what will happen in the future mm -hmm. i know that it must surely come to pass anybody that came out to give testimony in fact if i see pregnant women walking on the road i will say one day i will be like this mm. although i say human being you know, <laughs> as a human being i'm still bothering within me but, but i see i still believe that one day it must surely come to pass mm -hmm. <laughs> The whole nation, even my neighbor, said, don't mind her. She's deceiving her uh, uh, husband. She's not even pregnant. Without knowing already that I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> On 2000, and I, I came to, um, October, I came to see daddy about my dream, I said, Daddy, I'm about to deliver, put me to prayer. Daddy said, ah. With this your small stomach, I say yes. On December, on 1st of January, I put them to this 
baby boy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, how I wish they would give me time in Nigeria to do what I know how to do. Onu mojuru nekele ebi mere ndu foromo onu mojuru nekele onu mojuru nekele ebi mere ndu foromo onu mojuru nekele Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My Ooh. testimony goes with the topic of being fully persuaded mm. from the book of Hebrew 11. You know about, if you go to the book of uh, Hebrew 11, you, you hear about faith. Mm -hmm. That God said to this person, God said to this person, he believed and he came to pass. What, what is the meaning of being fully persuaded? It means that believing that what God say must we surely come. come to pass. Pass. Despite what you are hearing, despite what is happening to you, despite what people are saying, but being fully persuaded that what God used his man, the major prophet said, must surely come to pass. Mm. This happened two, year, two years ago. Like I said, first Sunday of the, uh, January, I made my own testimony. Mm. My wife came here, me, I give up. I stopped going to church. We have been to different ministries. Mm. Different uh, harbor home. Try this. If there's one she took, she nearly died herself. Oh God. I told her, me, I don't do it again. Oh God. We went to different churches, spent so much money. Even the last one, I spent one at the in a church. Buy children's uniform, buy this, buy that, do so like I do. I keep doing this thing. See, when she found here, he said he met one prophet, a major prophet. He said she's going to deliver. A baby boy. Oh I my said, God. Said, mm. What a power for God. I've been prophets. On February last year, she took him. The devil came. Came so strongly. A very big problem came, which she might have lost that baby that very day. But God, who has spoken his word through his major prophet, that word, God says after it. After all temptation, you believe it. Yes. Oh, that settles it. God said it. Oh, yes. I believe, believe it. it. Oh, yes. Thou said to me. So, I, but I was fully persuaded. I keep, I, I stopped going to church. I start coming to this church. So I heard what is happening. I queue in. Not coming to church is the problem. It's a queue in. Mm. Queue in. Believe. Believe that this must surely come to pass. I believe and I believe and I believe and I believe and I believe. That was how my testimony came to pass on first. I was just sitting down. I put uh, the more music. I was listening. Somebody called me. Come. I said, what is it? I said, she has delivered. I said, it's, it's a lie. Eh? I said, it's a lie. Eh? <laughs> Out of joy, they showed me the theater. I run in. See everything. Oh! And they were, they were beating the boy to cry. Praise, 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 Omezu <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yes, sir. We made a vow to God. Mm. We would have done this in better than this, if not this uh, social distancing and uh, online service. We said, okay, since this period is online service, let's go into this online service. And yes, sir. Time, since the child was born at this time. So let us do the dedication as online. Yes, sir. So. That is why we are here. And we made a vow to God. And today, that vow has been disturbing me. I've been calling a uh, prophet, prophet, prophet. Every he, time. Every time. Say, I want to do that. This thing was supposed to hold on on last Sunday of April. In a very bigger way than this. But the lockdown, the Kurovora, everything. I've been calling prophet. I've been disturbed for, because of this vow we made to God. Mm. I called him and said, okay, oh, it's okay, let us do it online. So today, the vow we made to God, I'm happy to return it to God. How? Oh, oh wait for one of Jesus. <laughs> Come on, this is for cow. This is a big cow. The biggest cow to God of possibility. Oh my God. Oh, as Solomon gave a sacrifice to God, you decided, you and your wife, to come and give a sacrifice to God because of what God has done. He will do greater than this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the today that this baby is dedicated, the door is open. Twins, 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 shall follow in the name of Jesus. Amen. At a point, you yourself will decide. Anybody anywhere that is looking for baby, you will say, come and embrace me. When the person embraces your wife or you, the person will receive twins also. Amen. If I be a major prophet and I prophesy things and it came to pass, I prophesy, so shall it be. Amen. Because of your fat offering and thanksgiving to God, let the door financially be open. Amen. Every door that leads to your wealth, let it be widely open. Amen. Open to the federal. Amen. Open to international. Amen. Open to state level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your vow and your gift become a source of greatness to your family. Amen. For the baby that God has brought today, this baby, not just baby, but a son given to you, is going to remain the son for the worldwide. Amen. In his time, in his generation, in his days, he will be a great leader of the people. Amen. And he's going to grow as a great man. Amen. Greater than anybody else. Amen. Even in the family, in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I dedicate the baby today, I dedicate the baby in wisdom. I dedicate the baby in power. Amen. I dedicate the baby in good health. Yes. I dedicate the baby in the fear of the Lord. I dedicate the baby to grow with all the grace of the Almighty God. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give me the baby. Father, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, by the authority of God and the power vested upon me as a servant of the Most High God, representing the office of God here on earth, I dedicate this baby today in the name of God the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I dedicate you today in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. As I hand you over back to your family, no weapon fashioned from any kingdom can ever touch you. As I hand you over to your family today, I hand you over with the seal of the Holy Ghost upon your life. He said, therefore, let no man trouble me, for I bear the mark of Christ. And the Lord will now set edge around about you. And it is written, touch not the anointed, and do the prophet no harm. Today, I decree, in your family, family foundation will not stop you. Family altar will not stop you. Family idol will not stop you. Anything that limit people in the family, in the village, in the town, in the community, in the country, in any level, any capacity, will never limit you or stop you. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I hand you over today, the door of children is open forever. More brothers and sisters shall be born in this family. More brothers and sisters shall be born in this family. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And today, because you have come to this family, as you grow, when the time comes to go to school, you will go to the best school. You will not lack the finance and the resources to go to the best school. When the time comes to go to any level in life, every desire shall be made available. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, as I hand you over to your parents today, I hand over joy, I hand over happiness, I hand over greatness, I hand over peace, I hand over everything they expect from the Almighty God. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Put your hand, sister. God bless you. Give me the oil. Today, I anoint you the anointing of possibility. This oil on your head is oil of greatness. The same oil that makes people to be great. The same oil of David. The same oil that makes Solomon who he was. The oil is upon you. Touch not the anointed and do no harm. From today, I declare, they come from the front, you will be at the back. When they come from the back, you are in the front. They come from right away, you are at the left side. They come from left side, you are at the right side. And therefore, touch and die. Before they stretch their hand to touch, the hand will wither. Yeah. Let no man trouble you, for the major prophet of God has declared it, and so shall it be. The Bible said, decree a thing to come to pass. I decree you untouchable. Your father untouchable. Your mother untouchable. Let the wall of salvation, the wall of the almighty God, be round about this family. The wall of God is round about this family. He said, whosoever shall touch the edge, shall the serpent bite. Evil people, wicked people, evil eyes, witchcraft, satanism, occultism, whatever you are, hear ye the word of the Lord. Touch not and do the anointed no harm. Jesus' mighty name we pray.